Here's an example where it's a little tight to get a rivet in. The hole is very close to the flange. And when we grab our rivet gun, the nose is just going to have a lot of problem getting a nice straight contact with the head of the rivet. So the rivet will end up going in crooked or not in at all accurately. So by using a wedge or the tool we talked about, you can slide this over and that allows our rivet head, our riveting head to go in at an angle and yet still get a nice firm contact on the rivet. So I'll go down as far as I can bend the metal just a little bit. There we go. And now I got a nice flush contact. I pull and the rivet goes in nice and straight. These little aluminum wedges that you will make with a hole in the center, you'll make a bunch of these, will be used when you can't get your rivet gun nose piece straight on and they allow you to rivet at a slight angle and yet have your rivet seated properly and correctly in its part. Here's an example where we're going to have trouble getting the riveter nose in place because of this L angle. So we will use our little trick with the wedge. I'll place the wedge over the rivet stem and this will allow us then to rivet at a slight angle and yet keep the rivet head flat against our work. And our rivet set just fine. I orient the angle to be in the direction that I want my rivet gun to go and it works nicely every time.